What's going on, guys? I am Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. Going to give you guys an update. It's been a few days. We have a busy week coming up here. So this is Sunday, July 7th. Making this video roughly 5.30 or so in the evening. So the topic of discussion of this video is going to focus primarily on tomorrow's thunderstorm risk. But we also have a, quite a few topics to mention. Not going to dive too deep just yet, but tomorrow, expect a little bit more of a deeper dive on the, tomorrow's video. So first and foremost, we have tomorrow's storm chances. We have tropical storm slash hurricane barrel about to make landfall in Texas tonight. And also that's going to track potentially up our way, which could bring some impacts as well. And then late this week slash next week into next weekend, I guess I should say next weekend, July uh, 13th, 14th, and after that, an active pattern looks to potentially set up as well. So it's going to be a busy week for us here. A lot to track, a lot to keep track of. Starting with tomorrow, all right, Monday, July 8th, your SPC day two outlook currently has the entire state in a general thunderstorm risk. So those risks are scaled on basically level zero to level five. So tomorrow's level zero, we call it level zero, general thunderstorm risk. No severe weather currently anticip anticipated uh, by the SPC, but we're kind of thinking there may be one or two strong, perhaps severe storms in the state. So looking at how these are categorized, we have that general thunderstorm all the way on the left side of your screen there. The marginal will be the level one severe risk. Level two is a slight risk. Level two, level three, should I say, is enhanced risk. Level four is moderate, so on and so forth. They each correlate to these maps that we share with you guys. It's important to know what each category means. So tomorrow, right now, is just general thunderstorm risk. Would not be shocked if this gets put into a marginal for some places in the state. Let's go ahead and jump into the model uh, quickly here. Look at the few models we have, the ARRR and the NAM NST or NAM3, we call it. Looking at the future radar potential for tomorrow. Going to zoom this through today into the tonight, overnight tonight, into tomorrow morning. Here is tomorrow afternoon. Check out we have some showers and some storms popping up right around 4 o'clock on this model up here by uh, Gaylord, Mackinac, Alpena area up in northern lower Michigan. Move that through the evening hours. Those do pop up right around Mount Pleasant down to around Grand Rapids, Ionia County area. Uh, that's about 7 o'clock. Further into the evening, those are going to develop and push eastward here with more storms popping up in the UP by Marquette and also down here by Grand Rapids all the way down to Berrien County. So potentially scattered development here on the table for tomorrow. Let's check out our HRRR model. And then look at a few of the ingredients we're looking for. So tomorrow, looking at the 18Z run from this afternoon, looking at how it's going to evolve. This is tomorrow afternoon. This is going to be, again, scattered showers and storms across much of the UP, this model says, as well as widely scattered development in lower Michigan as well, from the Tri-Cities up toward uh, Houghton Lake, down to Lansing, Grand Rapids, all the way down to Kalamazoo areas. Uh, those will develop roughly mid-afternoon as well. So this model does have more coverage in the UP, but the overall takeaway tomorrow is that the environment across much of the state will support general thunderstorms, perhaps a strong to severe storm uh, in nature. So I would not be shocked if SPC keeps that general thunderstorm risk. The overall severe risk tomorrow does appear to be quite low, but in some cases on some models, we do see a good environment taking shape in some areas. Here is an overlap of wind shear as well as instability for tomorrow. We're going to see there's not much there, but there's just enough there that we're going to kind of mention that strong, severe storm. Damaging winds should be their primary concern if anything does become strong or perhaps severe. Currently not seeing anything for hail or tornadoes, but just keep in mind tomorrow afternoon, at the very least, expect scattered rain and storms across much of the state. So with that being said, the next topic of discussion will be tropical storm slash hurricane barrel. It's expected to hit Texas tonight as a Category 1 hurricane. And then flipping over here to the National Hurricane Center website, the cone of uncertainty, so to speak, does have Michigan in that track. It won't reach us until roughly Wednesday afternoon slash Wednesday evening, uh, but its effects are going to be felt here. So number one thing we're going to be concerned about is heavy rainfall. And I'll tell you guys why. As this tracks up the... Uh, central U.S. here, looking over at the GFS model, for example, looking at a uh, 
plethora of different things here to kind of keep an eye on with this, especially your, your rainfall. We'll try and find this here real quick. Give me a second. Uh, I got to pick this out right here. Total precip accumulation. This is your total rainfall through the midweek to late week. All right. There is your track of tropical storm barrel. Now we notice there is a distinct, distinctive uh, path here from Ohio down through Indiana, back through Southern Illinois, back through Southern Missouri, back down into the Oklahoma, Arkansas area. That's going to be your heaviest rainfall. That's going to track up our way. Whether it's going to impact us significantly is yet to be seen. But right now with that cone of uncertainty, we call it, tracking up our way, it's right on our doorstep. If that continues to track through Michigan, heavy rainfall will become a concern Wednesday, Thursday. Now, I know you guys are going to be thinking it's not going to be a hurricane, blah, 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 blah. No, it's not going to be a hurricane. It is forecasted to be a tropical depression. So we're still going to probably have some windy conditions, nothing like a hurricane at all, but expect at the very least heavy rainfall. As far as the severe weather threat goes, if this takes a more westerly track through, we'll say, Illinois, Wisconsin, perhaps the UP, at that point, we become a little bit more concerned for severe weather potential. Right now, we're not expecting to see any strong or severe storms with this, but that could change if a different track is noted. There is going to be a lot of spin around the center of that low pressure, so we could see some showers try to rotate, yes. Overall, though, instability, wind shear, all the ingredients coming together do not look impressive right now. Now, if it does take a more westerly track, we have to reevaluate. But right now, not expecting severe weather for this time frame. And again, that's going to arrive here roughly Wednesday evening into Thursday as a tropical depression. As a result of this, though, the WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, does have Michigan, especially Southern Michigan, in an excessive rainfall outlook here on the day three, which is going to be our Tuesday to Wednesday time frame. Now, the day four, much of the state is actually in a slight risk for excessive rainfall here. So what they're basically just saying here is if that track holds together here, Michigan would be in line for perhaps some very hefty rainfalls here in between. We're going to say one to four inches is going to be your expectation in the heaviest. We're going to narrow that down as we get closer. We're still a few days out. Yes. But as we get closer to tropical uh, two barrels arrival, uh, we're going to be looking at narrowing down uh, the rainfall as well as any strong, severe threats, if any do exist with this. All right. So overall, no real big impact on us here. But yes, it's been quite some time since we had our last tropical depression here uh, in Michigan. So it's been a while. It's not uncommon, uh, but just want to be Want well, to make you guys prepared for at the very least some heavy rainfall here and probably some gusty winds, 30, 40 mile per hour would be what to expect with that as well. And again, severe threat, highly dependent on the exact track and ingredients as we get toward that mid to late week time frame. And then lastly, we're watching the end of next week slash this week. Next week going to be a good way to put it. Looking at the GFS model, looking at the wind shear instability overlap. And again, we're going to not dive in too deep to this, but just keep an eye out for the later half of this week, probably Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to be exact. The GFS model, the GEFS ensembles picking up on a potentially active period here. Starting on Saturday, we have the overlap here, wind shear instability all the way from the Dakotas into the Midwest. And then as we get into Sunday and Monday, that also kind of continues the trend here before it exits into the early part of next week. But overall, the active pattern we've been kind of keying in on for about a week or two now is looking like it's showing up here at the end of this upcoming week. As a result, the CSU learning model does have a probability-based guidance here depicting Wisconsin and Michigan in the higher concern here for potential severe weather next Sunday. But again, we are way too far out for specifics. We're just kind of giving you the idea that, hey, models are starting to key on this time frame. We're going to pay attention to it. And as a result, we will update you guys as new data and more confidence or less confidence is had in any type of severe weather risks. With that being said, we'll have more information tomorrow on all these topics here. And then we'll have updated information daily every morning, roughly around noon, for you guys to keep an eye on on our YouTube page here as well. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And as a reminder, today, Sunday, July 7th, is your last day to order MSC limited edition merchandise. I'll go ahead and throw the link up here on the screen. It's our store, Helicity. Stop by the Helicity.co. Hit Michigan Storm Chasers. It's a tab on the left side of your screen. Look for the limited edition hoodie or T-shirt. 
today is the last day it'll be available to you guys. All right. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow evening. Or if this video reaches you by the time we do Sunday Night Weekly, we'll go live at 8 o'clock tonight for our Sunday Night live stream. All right. You guys stay safe. Enjoy your upcoming week.